Hello everybody, today our lesson is going to be on rhythm and what that means in fashion and then I will be explaining an assignment that you will be completing in class. Rhythm is the pleasing arrangement of the design elements so the eye moves easily over the apparel. No matter what, whenever you look at a person or you look at a person's outfit, you are going to look at it in a direction. Your eyes are going to move in a certain way to take in um, to intake the entire perception of the outfit and how you're going to visually see this outfit and your eyes are going to move. You don't notice your eyes are moving necessarily, but it's the smoothness in which your eyes are moving that determine the type of rhythm that it is. Rhythm directs the flow of the eye movement steadily and smoothly through the lines and spaces of the design. The gaze unconsciously moves from one part to another and rhythm can be created with one of five ways. Rhythm by repetition, rhythm by gradation, rhythm by transition, rhythm by opposition, or rhythm by radial arrangement. So let me go through and show you some examples. Rhythm by repetition. Sorry, I had to pause for a moment. Um, rhythm by repetition means a rep repetition of lines, shapes, colors, or textures in a garment. This can be done by using the same shaped edges on all parts. The same um, edges could be rounded or scalloped. Repetition of colors can create good rhythm, especially if the colors are distributed in, in an interesting way. And rhythm by um, repletion can be achieved by repeating buttons, tucks, pleats, or trim. So if we look at this particular design, we can see that um, the color gold is being repeated because she has a gold skirt and the same color um, gold blouse. Textures are being repeated because it's smooth textures throughout. Um, also, the ruffles and kind of like the smoothness and the way it drapes is repeated because the shirt has the same um, feeling as the skirt. Here we have an example with um, Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt using it with polka dots. Um, here in the middle one we have repetition by stripes and here we have repetition by birds on Winston Bishop's bird shirt. Okay, gradation can also be called progression and this type of rhythm implies a gradual increase or decrease of similar design elements, meaning colors can go from light to dark or textures can go from fine to coarse. Lines can may also range from thin to thick and shapes may range from small to large. Basically it's like something is gradually changing, it's not abrupt. So the, the stripe is going to get gradually larger or the color is going to get gradually darker or the shapes are going to get gradually bigger, that type of thing. In this dress you can see that it's being done by the colors going from dark purple to cream slowly. Here we have the sweater going from coarse to the leather band being semi-coarse to the leather pants being very smooth. Um, here we have it in the golf shirt with the blue um, slowly fading into white by having the shapes kind of fall. And then we have this gradient shirt that looks kind of like a sunset where it goes from yellow to pink. Um, rhythm by transition is a fluid rhythm created by a curved line that leads the eye over an angle. So this can cause your eyes to change direction gradually rather than abruptly. It usually can be found in puffed sleeves, dropped shoulders, or ruffles. Um, shawls, ascots, jabots, ruffles, and gathers can be used to use this. If you see it here, it can be done with the puffed sleeves as well as the ruffles on the skirt and in the shirt. Here we see it with a couple of scarves, and then on the last one we see it with a, um, a off-the-shoulder um, halter top type look. Then we have rhythm by opposition. This is created when lines meet to form right angles. It can be found in checks, plaids, square necklines, square pockets, waist waistbands, yokes, collars, and cuffs. Basically think of a straight line. Here we're seeing it in this plaid suit. Um, the picture on the left shows it in the overalls with the square neckline, the square pockets, and then the square waistband, and also the cuffed pants. In the middle we see it in the plaid suit, and then on the end we see it in the t-shirt with the line that cuts it from gray to black, and then also the square pocket. Here we have it in a plaid skirt, next we have it in a plaid um, overall type dress, and then we have it in a square neckline crop top, both in the neckline and in the where it's cropped, and then also in the mini skirt waistband. Rhythm by radiation is radial arrangement where the lines emerge from a central point like rays. Think of kind of like a sunburst. It's created when gathers, tucks, seams, or darts, or flowing lines or colors fan out from a central area. In this example, you can see on the waist, this um, it gathers and then it flows down kind of like her thigh area. In Nicole Kidman's example, is she has a knot in the middle of her bust that fans outwards. In Kate Beckinsale's um, dress, it's the red one in the middle. You can see that she's got a knot in the center that makes it fan up, to, um, up towards her chest and also down towards her hips. And then in the last one, it's a t-shirt that's kind of twist knotted so it kind of moves upward. 
Here we have it in this twist knot sweater. Here we have it in this twist knot dress. And here we have it in the other twist knot dress. So here's what your assignment is going to be doing. You're going to be doing when you, I want you to look on the counter where I keep all the packets and you're going to find two blank models. You're going to see a female model in a blank dress and she's got kind of wavy hair and it's on cardstock and it's kind of closer up and it's not like a normal croquis. It's like a, it's a closer up version. And then you're going to see one right next to it. That's a male that has a blank t-shirt. You can pick two females, two males or female and male. I don't care how you do it and um, you are going to color in this shirt or this dress creating the type of rhythm so you could give the woman a plaid dress and it could be rhythm by opposition you can give the the guy a pocket in his shirt um, and make it um, opposition you could do a gradient color scheme and make it gradation you could do a, some kind of knot on the side and do some texture and make it um, transition anything like that you have any you can use any of the five types of rhythm but you do have to do two different types of rhythm so two two different models either both female both male or female male and then just do two different examples you don't have to cut this out you don't have to um, do anything like that it's already on cardstock all you need to do is get a sharpie or a pen and title it the type of rhythm that it is so say on the woman you did like a plaid dress you would then title it just opposition on the top and then you'll take a picture of that and put it into your next unit I believe unit three part two and I will open that on canvas and that is your assignment and um, um, yeah I hope you guys have a great day we will move on to emphasis and harmony next time